The day I was born was the day the world collapsed. Those that survived had to make new lives underground. Up above, there was nothing but ash and cold and death. People thought it would last forever, but without us up there, life returned. I was six years old the first time I saw the sun. Mom and Dad were heartbroken by what they saw. The world they'd known gone forever. But not me. I'd never seen anything so perfect. We weren't the only ones who'd survived, and slowly, but surely, our little community grew. It wasn't always easy, but for a time, there was peace and prosperity. A new home, a new life, a new normal. But like all things in this world, it was too good to last. The highwaymen came from the east, led by a pair of sisters, twins. Said they'd heard about our little paradise. Said they wanted it for themselves. We never stood a chance. They took everything from us, our food, our homes, our people. We needed a miracle. And that's when we heard the name Thomas Rush. He and his captain had been up and down the West Coast helping folks like us rebuild. And they were on a train headed right through Hope County. Mom sent me to find them, convince them to help us take our home back. They were our last hope, our salvation. But it all went horribly wrong. Captain! Captain, you're alive! Jesus! They're heading this way! Get up, Captain! Come on, get up! What's the fucking highwaymen? They're gonna kill us! Get up, Captain, get up! Jesus, Barnes, just keep screaming like that, you're gonna bring them all down on us. Rush, you're alive! Help me! No, we have no time, we gotta go! Barnes? We are not leaving the cabin behind. They're coming fast. We need to stick together. Understood? Cap. Your time to shine. We need to get armed. We need to get our people. And we need you to find our way out of here. I know. Yeah, easier said than done. One step at a time, Barnes. You lead, we'll follow. Oh my god. I thought it was dead. We need to find the armory wagon. You're up. Save as many people as we can. This way, Barnes. Stick with the captain. We should cut our losses and run. We'll be fine. More to be saved. Storm coming. We're in big. 
big trouble if we get caught in that. We need to keep moving. Christmas, everybody. Santa delivered a whole damn train full of presents. <sighs> what do we have here? Rabbits. Ooh. I gotta ask you rabbits a question. The fuck you think was gonna happen? Riding in on a giant hunk of iron, just clouds of black smoke. You think we would've noticed? What do you want, Barnes? We want to know if your problem solvers a problem makers. What? <laughs> Our pops always told us that people either solve problems or make problems. The world's got too many fucking problems. And we're looking for people to help solve problems. Uh, our problems. If you're a problem solver, we got you covered. Food, clothes, guns. <laughs> Anything you need. <laughs> Even health insurance. <laughs> <laughs> but if you make problems, well, Pops taught us what to do with problem makers. Problem makers need to be solved. Mm -hmm. Old man solved a shit ton of problems in his day. Yeah. Hell yeah. So, rabbits. Are you all problem solvers 
or problem makers. We solve problems. We've been solving problems all over this Barnes. country. We can give you fresh water, build shelters. We can get you anything you Barnes, need. Barnes, shut up. You can build all that? Well, I'm not me. But Rush here. Well, then you are gonna be our number one problem solver. Go fuck yourself. Huh. Okay. <laughs> you done? Yeah. There, miss. Come on, we just need to follow the river to get to Hope County. I can't believe what happened. They must have seen the train coming. I should have known better. Those fucking twins, Mickey and Lou. The first time I saw them was when they came to our house. He said it was their house now. And we could either leave willingly, or they'd burn it down with us inside. My dad tried to fight. So, they took him. Then they took the house. My mom and I were forced to start over on our own. We weren't their only victims. But my mom managed to bring survivors together, and we all tried to build a place. old mine when I left to get help. There's a workbench inside. You can use it to build a weapon. Rush was supposed to be the final piece so that we could finally fight back. But now, we're worse off than we were before. I'm sorry, not the people. I promise, I'll figure out a way to make this work. I told you about. Rush said you were resourceful, so let's build something. You can use benches like this to build makeshift. Yeah, we need more resources. We're. Remember to look up high, too. <laughs> that should do it. Let's haul this stuff back to work. I don't see what you can see. Put that shit away! Holy shit, is that some kind of saw launcher? That's amazing.
it. You breathe the stuff in it fucks up your lungs. Twin said that no one gets out of Hope County. And no one gets now in. Now that gets you. <laughs> Come on, we're almost there. Cap, 
Have you got a minute? So, this is it. Home. Mom's right. The two of us can work together to build this place back up. Any time you need a hand, give me a call. I'll come fight by your side, Cap. You don't mind if I call you Cap, right? Captain of security just sounds, well, a little formal. Listen, you have been put through the ringer. If you want to freshen up... Just a sec! We're gonna have to get serious about building this place. So, up. what I was saying is... Listen, you have been put through the ringer. If you want to freshen up with a change of clothes before we get started, there's some stuff over there. You should probably talk to Mom. She'll give you the rundown on what we can do for prosperity. Whatever else happens, I'm glad Carmina made that back. Howdy. I keep trying to tell people to drink their own piss. It's the only sane way to... Days. My name is Kim. I guess you could say I run things around here. We don't have the help. We thought we'd have how to get to work and do it ourselves. Let me show you how things work around here. This is prosperity. If we're gonna have a fighting chance against the highwaymen, the first thing we've got to do is get this place up and running. We have several facilities to make Prosperity thrive. These are the places where you can craft weapons and vehicles, cultivate plants for health, and many other things. This is Hope County. In order to get the most out of our facilities, we need ethanol to upgrade them. Your map shows the highwaymen outposts, where they store the ethanol they stole from us. Secure these locations to get what we need. And here's where you can find specialists. People with the expertise to really give us a fighting chance against the twins. Bring them home, and they'll make prosperity and you stronger. But without Thomas Rush, none of this is gonna work. He's built up settlements before, and without his knowledge, we won't be able to take prosperity to the next level. Lately, the twins are sending a lot of prisoners to their coal mine. I'd start looking there. So, that's it. We rescue Rush, find people who can run the facilities, and bring them enough ethanol to maximize what we can craft. If you can help us, we'll do everything we can to help you. Honestly, didn't think Carmina would come back. Let alone with help. Lots 
and loaded, partner. Hello. You've been up with your career. Heard Wade Fowler plan to start up a new fang center at the old church down the way. Rumor has it he met a tragic end, but there might be supplies you could recover. Goodness. Okay, sheesh. Can you follow my ex-employee to wherever he's hidden my business plan and get it back, please? Chapters all over the country, and every now and then they send supply drops to help each other out. If you see a plane, it's likely one of theirs. It's always a race to see who can claim the drop first, and it's always a fight. Good, let's go. Please help! 
Please help! Please don't hurt me. Let's talk. Look, okay, yes, I lost my clothes in a game of cards. Ha ha ha. I have a problem. All right. Okay, fine. I'm sorry. Oh, Chris, please help me. No doubts. There's no rest for you, is there? Well, come see me at Prosperity. You reach around my back, I reach around yours. Don't forget, 